Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to end your YouTube video. So this, these are the way that I normally use to end my YouTube video. And I think it's uh, hopefully, hopefully it is helpful for you. Uh, okay, so the software I'm going to use is Wondershare Filmora 10, which you can find the link in the description below. By the way, you can use this technique for all other video editor and for all other YouTube video. Okay, it is very simple. Uh, let's go to my computer screen. Okay. All right. So this is uh, this is a Filmora 10 timeline. So uh, just an example timeline with some clips on the timeline. And the first way, the first way to end your YouTube video is to add your old uh, YouTube logo. And I saw many YouTubers do this and. Um, Sometimes they, they do not add the logo at the beginning of the video. They just uh, add the logo at the end of the video just to impress their audience, uh, to make them remember your uh, YouTube channel. And it is very easy to, to do in uh, Filmora 10. Okay, this is the example timeline. And if you want to uh, to add a logo to the end of the video, you can do like this. Uh, this is the, the ending uh, section of the video. Let's play it so you can see see it first. Very nice, right? So at this position, uh, I have a transition between the uh, normal clips uh, to the logo uh, here, and at the at the end, I, I also have a fade out transition for my logo also. So to do this in uh, Filmora 10, it is very easy. But first thing first, you have to have the image of your logo, right? And let's delete this one. Uh, for example, at this position, I want to end the. Uh, I want to end the video, so I'm going to use my logo. So I'm going to uh, select the media folder here, and I'm going to select the chef the share media. So I ha I already have some logo here. So this this one I'm going to do you this one. So first thing to drag and drop it and put it at the end of the of the video, and make sure that you select the duration of the image, five second, three second, or ten second is up to you. But at, in this case, I'm going to uh, to make it five seconds. So I'm going to right click and select the duration here, and then I'm going to change this one, change the number here to zero five, uh, which means uh, five seconds. Okay. Uh, so let's click OK. Now we have the logo, and we have to scale it down, or yeah, maybe make it bigger. It is depends on you. By the way, we have to resize it and position of the logo. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to scale it down by this and put it at the center. At the center. Yeah, okay. It is here. And then the next thing I want to do is to add a transition uh, between uh, this one, the normal clips, and the logo. So to do that, I'm going to the transition tab here. Then uh, at the recommended folder, I'm going to search for fade transition. Okay, and press enter, and then we can find the fade transition here. And then just drag and drop it between clips here. Okay. And the last thing I want to do is to add another fade transition to the end of the logo here. So do the same. Right. Okay, and here's the first solution to end your YouTube video with your channel logo, okay? Very nice, right? And that is the first way to end your YouTube video. And the second way, uh, some some other people do, and I also do sometimes, uh, is to add the like, comment, and subscribe, uh, just an outro, a five second outro, or stuff like that. Uh, in in one of Chef Filmora 10, it is very easy to add uh, that stuff uh, at the end of the video. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, firstly, uh, firstly, I want to delete the channel logo here. Uh, so I want to to add the like, subscribe, and comment at this position also at the same position. Okay, so to do that, uh, I'm going to select the title tab here. And I'm going to select downloads. And now uh, I have all, all the title here. But uh, first thing, I want to select the view option to, to use only the free resources in this program only. So I'm going to select here. And now I'm going to select free. 
and uh, we have all all the outro outro and intro and all that stuff here uh, but I find this one the the opener number two opener number two outro is uh, is interesting uh, we has a lie and bell and common button here already so let's double click to play it to review it first very nice right uh, we have a buzz here and we have a thanks for watching words and also your youtube channel name all right so i'm going to use this one uh, to use this one just drag and drop it here on the timeline and we have this one and now we can customize a little bit for example uh, the word thanks for watching we can change the phones and size and stuff like that so i'm going to double click at the title tab here and uh, we have the thanks for watching uh, we can change the phones because i don't i don't like this phones so i'm going to change it to my favorite favorite phones uh, here be bad news okay um for the side i think it's okay and the channel name i think i should delete this one and i'm going to move this one to this area uh, this area okay i think it's okay and you can even change the uh, the text here like subscribe and comment or stuff like that you can change it or recite it or, or maybe you add some uh, some other borders and and shadow and stuff like that here and if you want to control everything here you can go to the advanced text editor here okay so in this uh, in this advanced text editor you can control the text and add and replace and stuff like that so there's many things here but if you want to to learn about this the advanced text editor you can watch the tutorial over on the right side or left side of the screen okay so for now we can uh, click ok and now we have the uh, another ending section here thanks for watching like subscribe and comment uh, by the way we should have a, a transition here also so go back to the transition tab here and now we are going to use this one the flash the flash transition so we can put it right here and let's render the timeline first okay and here's the second solution to end your youtube video okay so let's play this one very nice right and the last solution uh, which is my favorite uh, solution to end my youtube video is to add a black screen uh, which is about 20 seconds uh, normally when i make tutorial or video or stuff like that uh, uploading to youtube i will make a, a black screen about 20 seconds uh, by doing this i have the chance to add the end screen annotation from youtube so when um when the tutorial ends uh, the viewer can can select uh, click at the link uh, on the screen to watch uh, more tutorial on my channel and to do this in uh, to do this in Filmora 10 it is also very easy okay so uh, for example we are here uh, we want to to have a 20 second black screen here uh, let's zoom out the timeline first uh, if I want to have a 20 second black screen here it is very easy firstly go to uh, media and then uh, we find the sample color uh, sample color folder here and actually black is my favorite color by the way you can add any other color uh, here okay so we are going to use black and we are going to drag and drop it uh, right here and now I want to make it 20 seconds so uh, I'm going to uh, change the duration of this image uh, let's right click and go to the duration again and type here 20 second and press ok and now it is a uh, 20 second black screen here nothing and remember you need to extend your music also and adjust the fade out of your music uh, fade out effect uh, of your music also okay so this is my favorite and my last way to end my youtube video at a black screen and we have we should have a transition here also uh, but this one we can use a fade out transition because uh, we have fade fade to black and it is black on the screen okay and look like this And the music will continue to play until the end uh, at this position uh, it will slow uh, low down and end okay 
So that is three way, three simple ways to end your YouTube video. We as normally do. Uh, by the way, sometimes you, if you have uh, some other video and you want to add credits to other people, you can add a credit, uh, add end credit to your video at the end also. And to do that in Filmora, you can go to the title and then you can select the the end credit section. Okay, so this is the end credit section. You can add to your video and yeah, I think it's the easy like adding text in Filmora 10. Okay. So that is the end of the tutorial. Hopefully it is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.